Welcome to another Splatoon 2 video on the channel. Again, I will be talking about the story mode just because we got some more prologue details. We got another Squid Sisters um, chapter and pretty much we'll be covering it and offering my thoughts on it just because I think maybe the story mode has taken another twist that I didn't think would happen. I will talk about that at the end of this video but let's just get on with the latest chapter how long had it been since they'd visited Arawan and all together in their free time they wandered past new stores and some of their old favorites enjoying the leisure of window shopping after checking out all of the spots they were interested in they worked up quite an appetite so they stopped off at a cafe for lunch Calais ordered a burger, Marie ordered a slice of pizza and that is a really cool reference to one of the Splatfest which was burgers versus pizza, I just found that really cool reference to a previous Splatfest. At times like this talk turned naturally to the work they've been doing lately. They swapped stories of workplace happenings and gossiped about their co-stars. Each was concerned for the other, but neither wanted to darken the mood by discussing anything too serious. Calais decided to mention that she'd seen Marie at the cafe that morning. Marie seemed a bit caught off guard, but began talking about her conversation with Krusty Sean without missing a beat. It seems Sean had recently quit his job at Shrimp Kicks. He'd been the store manager there for quite a while, but had long dreamt of opening a place of his own. A friend introduced a new opportunity and Sean went for it. I hope he'll be okay, Marie said with some concern. He's always been a bit impulsive. According to Krusty Sean, Anna had been looking for a new gig as well. Truth be told, she'd never been much of a people person and felt like she'd given retail the old college try. She'd been keeping busy recently helping decorate weapons in ammo nights. The more she did it, the more she felt this part-time job suited her perfectly. Do you think Anna and Sheldon? Callie blurted out in excitement. No way, Marie said, smiling. Not a chance. It turns out Sheldon was busy himself, planning to expand Ammo Nights to a second location. He had his eyes on a prime spot in the part of town that was quickly becoming the new hotness for the Turf War set. That Sheldon has always been a nose for business, the girls agreed. The conversation turned to Captain Cutterfish, more precisely that neither of them had seen him lately. It was true that their schedules had kept them too busy to pay him a proper visit, but they hadn't seen his head poke out of the usual manhole recently either. There was no real cause for alarm now that the Octarians have gone tame, but thinking of their grandfather gave them a good laugh. Surely the old rascal would turn up sooner or later. They got lost in conversation and time slipped away. When they noticed the sun beginning to set, Keller and Marie decided to head for home. They remembered just how much fun they always had when they were together. Fun didn't quite do it justice. It was more than that, something special that made their hearts feel full. They felt as though the clouds that had been gathering around them had suddenly been lifted. So that is the latest chapter in the Squid Sisters stories. And pretty much, I don't know what to think about in terms of the single player now for Splatoon 2. Because it seems like Kale and Marie have repaired their relationship. But what has happened to Captain Cuttlefish? Has he been kidnapped again? I really hope the story mode for Splatoon 2 isn't that you know, Captain Cuttlefish has been kidnapped. Just because that is what the first story mode was. And there is a lot of people out there at the moment saying that Splatoon 2 doesn't feel like a sequel at all to Splatoon Wii U. 
this feels like more of the same. So if the story mode was Captain Cuttlefish getting kidnapped again, those accus accusations would just carry on and would probably get louder. So I'm really hoping that the story mode will be something different than Captain Cuttlefish getting kidnapped again. But it does seem like Captain, C Captain Cuttlefish hasn't been spotted lately. Maybe the Octarians have kidnapped him again. Um, so let me know your thoughts about that in the comment section below. Would you be a fan of the story mode taking that route? Or would you want the devs to make a completely separate story for Splatoon 2? So that is it for this video. But before I do end this video, I just want to quickly mention the fact that um, the map system has changed in Splatoon 2. Pretty much you will be able to pick from two maps again like Splatoon Wii U but now the time for those maps in rotation will change from 4 hours to 2 hours and I think that is a much needed change. Definitely a change that I did mention before which you can find in the video in the series playlist. I do believe that the um, title of the video is called Splatoon 2 um, Gameplay Changes. And that is one of the changes I said that I wanted to see. A lot of people saying that they wanted to see a map voting system as well. I'm not a fan of a map voting system because that would mean that you would you know, play on just a few maps. And you wouldn't play on all of the maps. I know some, pe some people have said maybe they could do an RNG system like Mario Kart 8. Where you vote for a map and then the game picks from your map votes but again you know people will just pick the same maps and pretty much the game will choose from the same maps over and over again i think the system that they've got now or the overwatch system where it's just random maps all of the time is the best way to go but having said that about overwatch i found that once i played all of the maps i got bored pretty much straight away um so i think this system that they've got right now helps to keep the game fresh and will help to keep me playing for a long period of time as well but let me know your thoughts about the map system in the comment section below but until next time i'm out of here for now goodbye